to date? I'm saying nobody is. <laughs> and quite frankly, if one more person tells me, you're such a catch, how are you single? I'm going to throat punch you. <laughs> of course I'm a catch. I have a radiant smile. I have an incredible job. I'm ridiculously thoughtful. And I have a killer rack. <laughs>
for an total stranger to give me the same advice my parents did. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> but wounded bird syndrome basically means that I'm gonna take you and fix you up and make you better for your wife. <laughs>
they actually didn't have a single person So eHarmony took it upon themselves to sort of widen my search criteria, because apparently nobody within 30 miles of the greater Rochester area was out there. So as they widened my search criteria, they actually just widened the radius. And I started getting matched with 19-year-olds stationed at Fort Drum. <laughs> now, <laughs> I'm all for serving my country. I really am. <laughs> somebody in my decade. I'm not asking too much. They widened it even further, and I started getting matched with men in Toronto. Now, as hot as they were, I don't want a passport to date you. I don't. I just don't. So I was feeling really dissed by eHarmony, frankly. I mean, really dissed. And so I ended up back on match. This is where the fun begins, you guys. I log in with my AOL email address. <laughs> and 20-year-old Aaron is right there staring me in the face. So, a couple lessons there. Time to get a new email address. But more importantly, I had to update 20-year-old Aaron to almost 40-year-old Aaron. 20-year-old Aaron still lived at home, was in college, was working as a waitress, she still wanted children, and she just wanted to have fun, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> well, a lot has happened to 20-year-old Aaron, and for starters, I actually don't want children. And what I have found out is when you put that out into the atmosphere, or into the universe, rather, uh, the universe will deliver. So last year, I had to have a hysterectomy. So children now are a no-go. Not, not make them. So as exciting as that is for some men to know that they can have carefree sex and not get me pregnant, uh, some men actually want children. So I had to seriously update that um, because it has ended a relationship or two. So no children. I had to change what I was looking for. I had to add new photos and I had to add a new bio. My bio read, workaholic who plays just as hard. And I was like, ugh, I would never click on that. <laughs> so what I decided to do was to add a conversation that I had with my parents. And the reason for that was I thought people would see that I both have a great relationship with my parents and a killer sense of humor. So it sort of went like this. Uh, I was in the car with my parents driving to Detroit several years ago over Labor Day weekend to visit family. And my parents are so loving and kind and just very supportive. And they said, you know, Aaron, he's out there somewhere. <laughs> and I said, you know, you guys, I don't, I don't think I'm looking for too much. Now, keep in mind the prior criteria. It's now out the window, right? I said, I just want three things. I want him to make me a dirty martini with blue cheese stuffed olives. I want him to sing Maybe I'm Amazed by Paul McCartney. And I want him to stroke my hair. <laughs> and my dad said, Aaron, that's three different men. <laughs> I want you to weed your 
yourself out first. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so there's my pictures, there's my bio, and I send it out into the world. Now, it's really interesting because Matt lets you know who's, that there's people looking, but they don't tell you who they are. So this is actually worse than high school, because in high school, when people ignored me, I knew who the fuck they were. <laughs> now you're being ignored virtually, and it hurts a little. Anyway, guys wink at you, that's another little thing they do, or they'll send you a message. So the messaging begins, and then you're like, all right, I think, I think this might work. This friends is sort of like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. But in, in this instance, Goldilocks kept her natural hair color. <laughs> and instead of three bears, I have uh, three, three bad dates. Uh, and it's not too hot, too cold, or just right either. It's actually too old, too young, and totally fraudulent. <laughs> <laughs> the old-fashioned way we met in person so a very dear friend of mine was out shopping and she asked for me to join her she said you know what I need a second opinion can you come meet me I'm out shopping I said oh my gosh of course so I go and the sales clerk who is waiting on her starts paying a little more attention to me and of course I I give it right back I'm a flirt there's no denying that but it was pretty bad when my friend had to remind me very delicately that I was there to help her shop, not to get laid. <laughs> so, fair enough. <laughs> During the conversation with my friend, I say, are you picking up what I'm putting down? And the sales clerk very quickly holds up his hand to a now wedding band ring finger and says, yes, I certainly am. So, we swap phone numbers and decide to go on a date. Here's the interesting thing about phone numbers. You can Google those. <laughs> and so I type in that phone number, and there it is. He was legitimately convicted of fraud. <laughs> Court papers for days, all there in black and white. And I was like, you know what? This is just the wounded bird I'm looking for. <laughs> going back in the criteria. <laughs> I let that one go. So, too old. I met too old on Match, and during our conversations back and forth, he had said, you know, I'm a little outside of your age range. I hope that's okay. And I said, you know what? I'm completely open to that as long as you're young at heart. <laughs> Is an amazing company. 
company to work for, their slogan is every day you get our best. How great is that? <laughs> it was clear I wasn't getting the best there and maybe he just left that at work. So <laughs> <laughs> we continue to talk and he explains to me that he will not be able to tell me which Wegmans that he works at because he has had previous dates show up at his store and it freaks him out. And frankly, I was trying to figure out how dates was plural. <laughs> I explained to him that I figured that he worked at Wegmans because in his profile picture, he had on a Wegmans t-shirt. And you can't buy those at Wegmans. I also assured him that I don't like grocery shopping enough to seek him out at his store. And that one of the beauties of Wegmans is that they're conveniently located all over the city. I don't have to go to one that isn't five minutes from my house. So he... <laughs> He's still super offended, and I just say politely, maybe you should change your t-shirt in your profile picture if you don't want people to know where you work. <laughs> and he says to me, well, speaking of profile pictures, in yours, you had straight hair. And I said, very quickly going through the images that I know are on my profile, well, you're not wrong, but there's also two pictures where I have my naturally curly hair. And I suppose that um, I could have had straight hair, but that's a choice. I have to choose to wake up 45 minutes early and blow dry this hair out. And frankly, a first date over pizza was not a choice for 45 extra minutes of work. <laughs> Like, oh, right, wounded bird. Yes. 
yes. <laughs> and it took a little while for us to sort of warm up to each other, but one night we were walking down Park Avenue getting coffee, and as we talked and shared more, I thought to myself, I'm going to try to make this work. I think tonight will be the night we're going to go all the way. So we get back to his place and things are heating up and I think maybe I might have just been too much for too young because, well, frankly, it didn't work out. <laughs> Poor kid. And in the heat of the moment, he looks at me and says, I need you to know this is not a reflection of you. To which, in the heat of the moment, I respond, I 100% know it has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Sadly, I let him go. And this might be the first wounded bird that I let go before I fixed him. I am happy to report, though, he has a therapist now. <laughs> that warms my little heart. <laughs> so you see, it's kind of weird out there, right? Fraudulent, too old, too young. There must be a just right, I have to imagine. But until that time, I'm afraid that I have to go ahead and get myself back out there. Because, frankly, I am a catch. People are not wrong. And they're still biting. So, I gotta go. <laughs>
see you next door. Are you going next door? No, I really don't. All right. I knew I heard a baby. <laughs> 